Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We've got that moderate and heavy snow moving through. So that's a look out of our Emporia camera. It does look really pretty though with some of these bigger snowflakes falling with the pond here. But man, we've got that wind whipping through. It just does not feel very good outside right now. We've got wind chills in the single digits and low teens. Visibilities are greatly reduced as well. About a half a mile to a mile at best where we have that moderate to heavy snow. We're at 23 degrees in Topeka. It feels like 12 though with that wind running at 12 miles per hour out of the north. And and we've picked up a little bit of some precipitation liquid equivalent since midnight, just over a tenth of an inch there. And we've seen about two inches of snowfall in the city of Topeka. Now there's a look at that satellite and radar. You can see the coverage area has been shrinking just a little bit, but we still have quite a bit of snow to get through this morning. Several bands of some moderate to heavy snow that have been setting up. And that's going to be the case uh, through at least lunchtime, we're thinking, before we get this first round out of here. So future track starts at 7 a.m. We're going to continue to see that pushing off to the east, shrinking in coverage, and then finally winding down for a few hours in the afternoon before a second round of snow comes in. This will be later this evening and pretty much confined to our county south of I-70 and even our south and eastern counties south and east of I-35 heading into early Friday morning. So that could, it's going to be a lot lighter that second round, but it could still drop about an inch or two of some snow, additional snow through the night tonight and into tomorrow. Clouds will be clearing out through the day Friday, so we should see some sunshine. That'll help to warm things up for us a little bit, but we're still expecting some very cold temperatures behind this system. By the time it's all said and done with this first round and the second round all together, four to seven inches of snow possible in our uh, northern counties north of I-70, three to six inches possible in that light blue shaded area, and about two to five inches in our southern counties too. So everybody's got a chance to pick up several inches of snowfall with this system. I know a lot of folks are out of school, out of work today. Just a good day to stay inside if you can. We've got those winds that'll be running about 10 to 15 miles per hour all through this first round. That's reducing visibilities, making travel even more hazardous this morning because of that, paired with the fact that our roadways are already covered with snow. We'll see those winds relaxing though through the night and that's going to help to cool it down, especially with our clear skies. So temperatures were in the teens to low to mid twenties this morning and where we have our teens, that's where our single digit wind chills are. And then we've got some low teens for those wind chills south and east. Temperatures today not really going very far, maybe mid twenties at best. Tomorrow we'll be in those middle thirties. We have a really cold night waking up early Saturday, so single digits expected then, but by the time we get to the end of the weekend and start of next week, so for actual spring break, looks really good with temperatures in the low to mid 60s.